All right. We're back and we're we're getting started again here. Um, we just had a quick blip in the um, the video here, but we're going to continue on and um, basically we're finalizing our picture. We're trying to get our our tonal values correct according to the um, light of this picture. Um, it's a very bright, sunny feel to this painting. It's a maybe like, you know, uh, noontime. The sun is up high in the sky. It's coming down this way, straight down from above the sunlight. It's striking this wall over here in particular more than it is on this side. So these walls over here are more in shadow. So we're going to try to get that feel and, and continue to try to really finish up our 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 uh, painting and this would be we're in the mindset of being in the field or maybe uh, we have an hour to draw and paint something in the field we're on a um, uh, perhaps we're on some sort of um, tour and we only have an hour to paint draw and paint our, our scene that we want to do so we sit down in our chair with our um, paints and our pencil and our brushes and we're going to do this uh, so that's the mindset we had when we're doing this painting right now. So pretty much we're, we're finishing up now and we're just going to try to get our last bit of um, accurate uh, shadowing and, and light in, the, in this painting. So I noticed that I need some uh, some more uh, shadow on this side uh, mixing some sky color in there then I'm going to go down here to this part of the wall I'm going to go with a little darker bit of sky here. Cobalt blue. I'm leaving some of those cloud colors. A little more shadow on this wall here. There's some shadow on this wall as well, back here. And this looks like it's in shadow. Quite a bit of uh, And what's fun about shadows is they sometimes, you know, they have interesting hit and, hit and miss type feels to them. Shadows sometimes, you know, they, they're mysterious. You know, there's something in the, in the picture that we don't see that's outside the picture. That's th putting shadows onto things. So you can have fun and be really creative with shadows. Think about that when you're... Um, when you're painting shadows, have some fun with them. Once in a while, you know, artists, you'll see them a lot. They'll, they'll sometimes push, 
large shadows right in the fr front of their pictures. So they're in this essence, they're pretending there's like a large tree or a large building or something else in the scene that we can't see. And it's putting a shadow across the ground or something like that. So, or on a wall or the main thing is you can have fun with shadows and be creative. The only thing that you have to keep in mind is you want to try to follow the rule of where your, your light source is coming from. So when you do, if you do want to make a mysterious shadow or create something that might be maybe a little mysterious and fun that you're creating, you just want to try to maintain the, um, the discipline of remembering where your light is coming from. And we said it's coming from the straight top of this scene down onto this scene. And it's sort of coming from the right side a little bit this way. So it's mostly the bright sunlight is uh, hitting this wall here and reflecting and making it bright inside this whole a walkway going through this scene. So that's why this wall over here is pretty bright and pretty, it's got a lot of brightness to it. And then this wall over here is more in shadow. But if you want to get creative and add shadows to some steps or another part of the wall, you can do that. Um, it's um, just a matter of sort of envisioning the light coming down from above into the scene and just trying to sort of figure in your mind where that, sh where those shadowing patterns would be. So if you stick with what you see in the photographs, you're much better off. But again, once you get the feel for shadows, then you can kind of add in some uh, creative uh, shadows here and there if you want. And I do that occasionally. I'll just add a shadow or two that might not be um, in the actual photograph, but I'll try to be a little more creative. So, you know, feel free to do that once in a while. Just It's always good to um, just double check things and see if it makes sense first and and then uh, fire it in all right so we have our shadows over here and then you can make some darker darker spots here and there. This is a little I'm just using a touch of that color for the concrete on the top here. So I just add a little more water and just reactivate that paint there. A little more shadow over here on this wall, this area. And I add a little bit of that cadmium orange just to change up the tonal value of this and the color. And then we can go with some more French ultramarine blue. Burnt Umber, Lizard and Crimson. We'll just mix around some. Uh, and I'll make a window up here.
and there's some red that I see in the photograph underneath the um, planters. So the bottom of the uh, flower pots along these walls here are red. That makes some good color. Then we can add some shadowing too, a little more shadowing uh, along this here. That's a little bit of uh, yellow ochre. Blue. Then we can go with um, some more French ultramarine blue, burnt umber, lizard and crimson. And then maybe we'll just do uh, you know, some indications of some uh, shutters. Some shadowing underneath the shutters a little bit. We could let those shutters dry and maybe add some color to them. Maybe make them like an orange or a red. That would probably look pretty good. So you can have you know create you can be creative with your colors. And this looks pretty good. And then a little bit of shadowing under these flower pots here. And I do these really fast, just, you know, little indications. Here as well, a little bit of extra shadowing just to and then we could take some more color straight out of the tube, some nice reds, and uh so we could Put some color in the flowers here. A little bit of splashing here, maybe. If you have some splashing that doesn't go exactly correct, no problem. You just Blot it up with a tissue. If you see you went over a little too much on the boundaries or something, you can blot up a few spots. A 
Okay, that's looking pretty good. All right, great. Plenty of uh, plenty of good color. Okay, so here the main goal was to um, pretend we're out, we're having fun, we're uh, doing some sketching, some painting out in the field. We happen to um, get a spot where we can paint for about an hour, and then we just, you know, we have to be, you know, fast about it. We can't take forever, so we try to, and I'm using a little bit of titanium white just to try to get a little bit of uh, a couple uh, lines here and there. So I'm just trying to get a, uh, make a little bit of an interesting uh, So sometimes you can use a little white, a little bit of uh, white with um, titanium white, just to um, if you have a problem with something, you know, you can add a little bit of white to it if it's too much. Uh, okay, and then. Uh, Okay, we're looking uh, good here. We have a fun, quick painting that we did on location, we're pretending. Let's zoom in, see if we can zoom in a little bit to this. So that looks pretty good. It's, um, we followed our star pattern again to get our angles correct with perspective. To get the angles of the roofs of the buildings, the uh, windows, the flower pots, the stairs. And once we get those angles correct using perspective, um, we just remembered we wanted to make sure we remember where the light is. The light is coming from the top of the scene, down. Most of the light is coming a little bit from the right, but it's pretty much straight up ahead, like straight over top. So we're pre pretending it's like noontime. So the sun's straight up overhead in the sky, and it's shining down, and it's a little bit to the right, so it's coming down. It's, it's hitting this wall mostly, so this wall is the brightest wall, pure white paper, with maybe a little touch of a cadmium lemon yellow. And then this wall over here is getting that reflected light, but we have a little bit of shadow on this wall. And then, of course, this over here is in shadow, this side of the building a little more so we have some more shadow but a lot of bouncing bright light in this scene so uh, hope you'll try this try it once try it a couple times um, have fun with it lots of beautiful pure color we use the uh, straight out of the tube colors here for our flowers we use straight color right out of the tube right out of the palette here for our flower pots for some of the colors in our shutters. So we had um, an easy time of things. We didn't have to worry about mixing too much color. We just went straight right into the palette with the fresh moist uh, paint. All right, we'll see you next time. Have a great time painting, have fun, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.